All right, good evening. Coming up to 9.50 p.m. on the 12th of June, 2023. I'm Texas Storm Chasers David Reimer. Just going to give a quick update on the ongoing severe weather situation across portions of North Texas, south into the Hill Country, and then talk about our expectations as we head over the next few hours and into Tuesday morning. At this point, we have three supercells underway in North Texas and the Hill Country, so very isolated coverage. Most folks not seeing a thing. Folks under the storms, on the other hand, are seeing some pretty big hail. One severe storm now Pecom, near Pecom Plantation about to move into northern Johnson County near Godly Joshua Bono, eventually moving towards Crowley, Mansfield, Arlington, and Mountain Creek Lake, Joe Pool Lake over the next 45 minutes. That storm's moving northeast of 45 miles an hour. We'll talk more about each storm individually in a moment. Second severe storm near Center City, crossing over Highway 84 west of Avon, east of Goldway. That could have golf ball-sized hail. That storm's moving southeast at 25 miles an hour towards Lampasas County. Third severe storm northeast of Hedwigs Hill, northeast of Loyal Valley, southwest of Lano, moving southeast at 35 miles an hour, generally towards Oxford and Lano County. Again, all these storms do have large hail, localized damaging wind gust, heavy rainfall, uh, earlier had a tornado warning issue near Brady. That storm not tornadic or capable of being tornadic at this point. The overall tornado threat for the next few hours does remain low, but not zero, especially with storms in the hill country. All right, let's talk about the storm moving into the southern DFW Metroplex. This is going to be a severe storm with a history of producing golf ball to hen egg size hail. That's two inches in diameter. And actually just had a report of tennis ball size hail in Pecan Plantation just southwest of Godley. So this storm is now producing a two and a half inch diameter hail. That is the size of tennis balls from near De Cordova to Pecan Plantation. This is going to be crossing over Highway 171 from Godley to just north of Cleburne up towards Crescent in the next five to ten minutes. A storm quickly moving northeast at about 50 miles an hour with tennis ball size hail. Uh, it is looking like this storm will persist for at least another hour or two, which will bring it into the DFW Metroplex with the threat of damaging hail. This storm will be near Joshua by 10.08 p.m. Burleson, 10.14 p.m. Mansfield, 10.25 p.m. Joe Pool Lake about 10.30 to 10.35, Duncanville 10.40 to 10.45, DeSoto 10.45, Glen Heights 10.45, Mountain Creek Lake about 10.40, Dallas Baptist University about 10.45, Southwest Dallas to Oak Cliff about 10.50 p.m., thereafter crossing into South Dallas and downtown Dallas. Again, this is a thunderstorm that just dropped tennis ball size hail in Pecan Plantation, which is just southwest of Godley. Storm moving in northern Johnson County with damaging hail the size of tennis balls now possible. Moving into northern Johnson, southern Tarrant, Dallas counties, maybe clipping far northwest Ellis County over the next one hour. Continuing further south, we have a supercell. Southeast of Goldwaith, moving southeast at 25 miles an hour, capable of producing golf ball size hail. This storm over relatively rural areas uh, in Lampasas County, staying north of Highway 183 for now, so it'll stay northeast of, or north of Lometa, west of Adamsville, south of Center City, south of Star, mostly. And again, this storm is showing some low-level rotation in southeastern portions of Miles County moving towards Lampasas County, so we're going to need to keep an eye on it just in case it tries to become a little more mischievous in the spinny spinny doom doom department. Otherwise, third storm, well southwest of Lano, northeast of Highway 87, south of Highway 29, west of Highway 16, going to remain over rural areas, maybe passing near Oxford on Highway 16 eventually. This storm showing signs of weakening and maybe starting to succumb to an increasing capping inversion, which may squish it soon. Same thing may go with this storm in the hill country, but it may still continue for another hour or two yet. And then again, we have this rather unhappy thunderstorm currently in portions of of Eastern Hood, Western Johnson County with tennis ball size hail moving northeast of 50 miles an hour towards Joshua, Godley, Burleson, Mansfield, Duncanville, DeSoto, Glen Heights, Joe Pool Lake, Mound Creek Lake, Southwest Dallas over the next 60 minutes. The potential for a damaging hailstorm. So get your vehicles under shelter if you can. And heads up, it's about to get haily. 
Over the next several hours into tonight, we're expecting additional showers and thunderstorms to develop across portions of central Oklahoma, southern Oklahoma, southeastern Oklahoma, and those will translate across the Red River into Texoma perhaps North Texas and Northeast Texas and East Texas during the pre-dawn hours Tuesday and then continuing past sunrise. Storm motion will be southeast and we're probably going to see a lot of storms. Some of them could have hail over the size of one inch in diameter, so quarter size hail, maybe up to golf ball size hail. Localized winds 50 to 60 miles an hour and heavy rainfall plus a bunch of cloud to ground lightning. So some folks are going to get woken up overnight, especially northeast of a line from say Wichita Falls to DFW to uh, let's just say Athens to Henderson up to the Red River into the Arklatex. Storms will increase in coverage and intensity after midnight, probably closer to 2, 3, 4 a.m. and then continue past sunrise as we see a bit of upper level lift arrive overhead and some of those storms may have hail. As always, you can keep an eye on the sky with the free Texas Storm Chasers interactive weather radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar, and by downloading the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. We'll be keeping an eye on things here, and again, you can do the same in our free mobile app. Uh, we'll be keeping an eye on things again, and remember, when thunder roars, go indoors, or change your drawers, depending on the situation that might be at hand. Y'all have a good night. We'll be watching.